Hello and welcome everybody. This is your commentator moods. We'll get back here to another video. And today we are doing an another battle in the Buddy League. Week four to be exact, as we are going up against Lugia or the Tail Glow Rangers. Hold on, I gotta fix my box here really quick. Uh there. And as you guys know, we don't do team build builders here, so I'm just going to go through the team really quick, so... But first, let me go over his team as I have... As I have it here, here, on my computer, so, Which I also have my, um... As usual... Oh! Phone ring! Uh, 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 There we go. I have my, um... Damage calcs open, my shutdown open for my EV spreads, and my notepad. So his team is Groudon, Kieran Black, Alon Mug, Kappa Griggs, uh, Manaphy, Shaman, regular form, uh, Mega Gardevoir, Heracross, Ditto, and Rotom Heat. So yeah, his team's kind of scared, but I think I built really well for it. Because I, excuse me while I fix my glasses, uh, there we go, I um, brought you see, you see on screen, Big Lenny, our knee Lego, with Power Gem, Sludge Wave, Thunderbolt, Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam's only there for filler, because I didn't know what else to put there. But I only really need Power Gem, Sludge Wave, and Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt there for Manaphy, Sludge Wave for Shaman and Gardevoir, and then Power Gem for the Kyurem, Heracross, and Rotom. And we carry Poison EMZ, so we can... Guarantee kill Gardevoir in one hit. So yeah. Next we carry Captain Magma, our um, Heatran, with Flamethrower, Flash Cannon, Stealth Rock, and Toxic. This is our special wall this week with an air balloon, so we can dodge the Earth power that Karen Black might carry, and we run just enough in enough investment that a Earth power from Shaman won't even kill us. So yeah, next we run our Gobblemon, the Keldeo, with Secret Sword, Hydro Pump, Hidden Power Ghost, Calm Mind. Yes, we're bringing back the Calm Mind Keldeo we ran in week one, and we're running Hydro Pump this week over a Skull, just because in the sun at plus one, when he has Groudon out, a plus one Hydro Pump still kills Groudon. Which is why we're modest with the life orb. Yeah, yeah. And next, we're gonna carry, we carry Cusco, our Weavile, Ice School Crash, Ice Shard, Low Kick, Knock Off. The standard that when you're not running Fake Out, because Ice School Crash plus Ice Shard still kills uh, Gardevoir. And it just does things, and low kick does a lot of damage to Kirim, and yeah, so. And then we carry Y in the Sky, our Eveltal, our physical wall this week, Lax in Nature, with Dark Pulse, Oblivion Wing, Sucker Punch, Roost, and we did the calcs, and we carry enough defense that, um, Heracross's close combat can't two shot us. So, yeah, and then we carry on guard our B, our Mega B drill with the same set we ran in week two against our friend Athena with a U turn, poison jab, drill run, pursuit. So, yeah, we're gonna get into the battle here. So, I'll see you when you're about to battle. So, yeah. Alright, so. After like 10, almost 15 minutes of trying to get the battle going, going uh, sending invites because Festival Plus is so good, Nintendo. Please bring back Festival Plaza for Ultra Sun and Moon, which you actually are doing, but no one wants it. Anyways, let's just select our team and get the battle going. Hopefully the camera hasn't moved too much if at all so we're gonna confirm yes 
And now uh, we'll see see his team in just a second. Just a second. After I randomly do this. There we go. So I'm gonna write it down on notepad. On notepad. So his team is that he brought was okay, so he brought Groudon Heracross Um Kyram Um Mana Fee Uh Coffin and Shaman. So I don't really want to lead with my Heatran to get the balloon popped at early on so I think I want to lead predicting him to lead Groudon for the rocks maybe I may lead Weavile just to see what we can do with, with damage so I might lead Weavile making him think we have fake out but we actually don't as you, you saw at the beginning of the video at the video yeah So how much does Weavot? Let's curious while I select my team. While I'm waiting for him to select, do a group Groudon, regular Groudon, not Primal. We do about 49 to 58 with Icicle Crush. Not bad. So here we go. Already calculating before the battle even starts. Oh boy. Let's see who he leads with. As we lead with we we Weavile. And he's going to lead with Endeavor. Yep. There's the Groudon. There's the Groudon. Now, predicting him to go for a Fire Move or Stealth Rock, I may go into Heatran here. Because I have Air Balloon. Hmm. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Or I could knock off his item right off the bat. But how good is that? Let's see. And he gives me the sun from my Heatran as well. So I like that idea. Hmm. Knock off, Icicle Crush. Or switch to Heatran. I think I'm gonna go for the first turn knockoff, seeing what I want to go for. Knocking off your item. Major damage! Look at that! Oh, crit. Yachi Berry. Fire Punch. Right. That's gonna bring me down to my sash, so. Not wanting to die to anything. I'm gonna switch out to to Heatran here to take the fire punch, probably. Yeah. That did good damage with the crit. So we already crit with Grotta here. But he took us down to our sash, so... Uh, I might have to be careful to try to not have him get rocks off here. Captain Magma. There we go. And... De Oh, I thought he actually was going for Endeavor. I'm like, wait. Okay, Heracross here. Let's see. <sighs> How much does close combat do to, do to us? Hera... Cross... Default set... Do... Do Heatran. Oh, it straight kills, so... I gotta go to my physical wall, which is... Evaltal here. I could have gotten the rocks up, but I don't want to risk it. So. Hmm. 
And I want to keep my air balloon intact anyways for Kyrim. Or Kyrim. However you want to say say it. Kyurem. <laughs> well, it's Steve. So he might just go straight for the close combat. Or he might switch, double switch out into Kyurem, predicting my switch to Eveltal. But if that's the case, then I can just figure out what I want to do from there. And I don't want to Toxic here, because he might have Guts, and I don't want to give him the Guts boost, which would be really bad. And here comes Eveltal. And there's the close combat. Yes. That did nothing! Ha! Now, I think we just fire off an, obliv an Oblivion Wing. There's not much that wants to take an Oblivion Wing. E anyways, so I might just go for it. Even though I have Roost and I could Roost up to back to full, I might just go for the Oblivion Wing. Just to get big damage off whatever wants to come in here. <laughs> and now, finally, this thing could actually do something to the times I brought it hasn't done anything. Like, it did things against the Lugia first week, and then last week when we brought it, it just died. Like, rather quickly. So, I want to actually use the thing, since it's one of my favorite legendaries. That isn't Kelio. Yeah, right? <laughs> so let's see what he wants to do. He could switch out the Chiron still to take the Oblivion Wing. But then, Oblivion Wing still does... Let's see what he... Uh, he goes into Kiram to take Oblivion Wing. Okay. That did about half. Let me just do a quick calculation here. So, Kyra... And... Veltal. That should do about... He, may, he probably has some investment, because that did a little less than half. Because I believe you wing... When he doesn't have any investment, does 54 to 64, so... Yeah. Let's see what I want to do here. I could go into a Gobblemon here. Yeah, I think that's my best wish. To take the Ice Beam or the Earth Power that's coming my way. Well, no, Ice Beam that's coming my way. Or even, but if he goes for, like, Fusion Bolt or something, then I just straight die, and then I'm going to be a sad boy. But, you know. There it is. Fusion Bolt. Ah. I could have sacked off Weavile here. But I live. Ooh. Ooh, 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 I could predict it to switch out and not want to have his thing die, and I can go for a calm mine. Oh, it's a risk, but I might take it. It's a risk I think I have to take here. Because then hidden power ghost could do a lot to cough to cough to cough agree. <clears throat> Excuse me. To cough agrees. Man, my mouth is dry. I should have brought a water up here. There it is. And that's probably Kafa Grigas. There it is. So let's put in the calculation here. Hidden power ghost. Uh, plus one. What does it do to uh, the coffin? Pokemon. 
43 to 52. It's not bad. But if I'm modest, I didn't put in modest. Oh, whoops. Or life orb, either. Rip. So, modest life orb plus one hidden power coast does 61 to 74. But if we do hydro pump, hydro pump, then we do 85 to 100. So we have a chance to kill here if we go for hydro pump. So yeah, let's go for it again and try to get this kill because it has a 12 and a half percent chance to kill. Hopefully we get the high roll. That's all I need. We hit, which is a good thing. High roll, high roll, high roll, high roll, high roll. Yes, we got the high roll. Killed the coffin po Pokemon. We're good. Oh, one scary thing gone. But then we died to our own life form, which is fine. So, quick cut there. My mom came in. So, we had to do a quick cut there. So now, I think we're to go into a Captain Magma. So we can do our thing. And maybe get a Brox. So let's see what he wants to do here. There's Kyron. I could just go for Flash Cannon to kill him. But I also want to go for Rocks as well. So, mm hmm. Let's see. He might go into mana fate to take the flash can. So I might just go for Oxy here. It's a risk, but I think I gotta go for Ox here. And Rox or Flash Can. Because Flash Can at this point kills, right? Uh, it should. Uh. Oh yeah, it does kill. So he doesn't want Kiram to die. So I'm gonna go for Roxy here. Yeah, see, there it is. And that should be Manaphy. Shaman! Okay. So how much does flamethrower do to shaman? Once I calculate or put shaman into the calculator here, and we change this to flame to flamethrower does 97 to 100. No, that's modest. All right, I don't want modest. I want this 89 to 106. Hmm. What do you have for me if you switched into that? I don't know, but I'm going to go flamethrower. Psychic. Okay. <laughs> Zero. He's got bolt. He may be carrying earth power. And if he's max invested, Timid Earth Power. Earth Power. Has a chance to kill. But. Do I want to take the risk? Hmm. No, 
No, I think I'm gonna sack Weavile here and see what he wants to do, and then I might do my thing after that. <laughs> yeah, there's the air power. I mean, I could have gone into Weavile though, but eh, it's fine. I'm gonna go and do it now. I just wanted to get the free switch because he might have gone for like seed flare or so or something else. So, or I could go into I could actually go into B drill and you turn out and get the kill. I'd rather do that. Yeah. So let's do it. Mega evolve. You turn. And he's not Scarf, because he switched moves from Psychic to Earth Power, so, yeah, that's the thing. So let's see what he wants to do. Because I'm just going to go for your turn. Yeah, he's going to let Shaman die. <clears throat> and that's Shaman gone. So, can mark him off my notepad. The best thing to go into here is probably, again, Captain Magma. Because then, if he goes into Kiram, I can... I can do things if he goes into Kiram. Just sorry, I was just trying to do some looking at the calculations that I have open. And there's Groudon. Do I? I don't know how to speed regular Grout Groudon, do I? No. Hmm. So I'm gonna switch out into Evelsol, which is our physical wall anyways, so... There we go. How much does um, Evelta do to Groudon? If we're... Um, what if this turns in Dark Pulse? Let's see. Dark Pulse does the most damage, so I'm gonna go for it. It does, Dark Pulse does 62 to 73, almost 74 percent damage, which would definitely kill this and probably kill the incoming Evelto that may be coming in. 
depending on not evil call oh Kiram. Sorry. And we killed Grout on here. So we're good with that. We can mark him off my list. Now he's got Heracross, Kiram, and Manaphy. He might go into Kiram because Kiram outspeeds me at max speed because we're not carrying any speed. Yeah, right. Let's see. Uh, we gotta keep bringing gum to Kiram. Because Ice Beam kills, and Fusion Bolt has a chance to kill. So, again, we just switch out to Captain Magma. Yeah. It'll take the hit. Fusion Bolt rather well, and then we can do things. And if he predicts the switch and goes for Earth Power, then we can go into Beedrill and get the kill on this Kiram. So let's see what it wants to do. He's taking his time. So. Which he should, because this is such an intense game. And a good game. At that point. So in comes Heatran. What does he go for? Fusion Bowl, okay. And we eat that. I think it's time we let Heatran go down and then we go into B drill for the revenge kill. Yeah. But he went for Fusion Bowl. So if we live, we kill. Which we do. Nice. So there goes Kiram. Let's see, does he bring in Manaphy here? I think so. Even though the sun's up, it'll still kill. Which I want him to kill me. Because then, if I go to Nihi, Nihi, Lego, uh, Z Sludge Wave to Manaphy does about it'll straight kill yeah depending on his invest investments but then if I go to B drill uh, does B drill uh, does B drill mega yeah mega no poison jump doesn't kill if I had X no they wouldn't kill so I have to go to nearly go after this dies so I can um go for the um poisony Z that was probably a smart switch because you might have guts I'm not sure How much speed does Heracross have? Heracross has 85, so he would outspeed me anyways, because I'm a minus speed in nature regardless, so.
I just want this to die so I can get a free switch into something. Please, just kill me. Thank you. And then Beedrill Poison Jab kills Heracross, so we're good. Oh, he's Moxie. That's fine. We still have to beat him and kill with Poison Jab. I think Beedrill just sweeps here. Maybe. Wait, he's Scarf? Rip. That's fine, because it didn't kill, so... There we go. Beedro got a kill. Got a kill. So we're just gonna... Get rid of our notepad, because all he has left is the Manaphy. And Poison Jab should do a, a decent chunk of damage. Oh wow. He's just gonna go for the Watarium Z. Okay. That's fine. Oh, Z Rain Dance? Oh no, yeah, it's P. Crap. Uh oh. I might actually lose none. Rip. Where's Eval Tall? Type Sucker Punch. So I win anyways. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. So let's go for Sucker Punch and win. So GG to Lugia, we got the 2-0 victory here, and that was such a good game, guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you for the next one. So this has been Moods, peace, and I'll, again, I'll see you for the next one.